All right. Good morning, everybody. How are you on this beautiful Monday morning? I'm so happy to be live with you with one of our awesome VIP members, Ann Andrews. And say hello to everybody in our community. Introduce hey, yourself. Lady women. How are you? <laughs> this is so great. And I'm so happy to have this platform to bring our members forward where they can have the opportunity to share uh, a little bit of their genius share who they are, what they do. So you have the opportunity to collaborate with them, tap into their resources. And, you know, frankly, I would just say, get to know them and people in the tribe, in the community. So Anne, I'm gonna turn the time over to you because I've worked with you before and I'm very excited about what you're gonna be sharing with our community today about how they can look and feel better but working with you, it's much more in depth than that. I mean, that's really scratching the surface. So yeah. talk to us. Okay, here we go. Uh, first of all, Colleen, thank you so much for the, your amazing uh, and inspiring leadership. And also I wanna acknowledge Mel and say to the group, um, do you notice how quickly these women get back to us? <laughs> this is just, I'm just thrilled to be in this community. And also thanks so much for the opportunity to be a member um, in the member spotlight. I'm excited to be here. All right. I'm Anna Andrews and I'm in Chicago. My company's Anne Catherine Design and I've been a clothing designer for over 20 years, uh, working with women one-on-one. -on -one. And now I work with women as a professional image and wardrobe coach. So I've had a lot of experience working with women in an intimate setting. And I truly know what is going on in the minds and hearts of our collective, you know, our collective community of sisters. How do I know that? Because they've told me. When we're trying on clothing, women just tell me about their bodies. They tell me that they wish they weren't so heavy. Why are they gaining weight? They tell me that they wish they were taller, that they never look good in clothes. They tell me that no matter what they wear, they feel self-conscious and unattractive. I learned that almost every client I worked with, no matter her age, her size, her shape, the color of her skin, or even her success level, she felt uncomfortable with the way she looked on some level. And honestly, at first, I didn't even notice because it was so commonplace and because it mirrored my own life and my own journey. For years, I struggled with how I looked and I didn't feel beautiful. I even am probably the most self-conscious person you know right on this call, but we uh, teach we, we teach what we need to learn, right? So more recently, my curiosity wants to know why this is such a phenomenon. So I've taken a deep dive into the word beauty. I want to deconstruct the word beauty and uncover the reasons why women as a collective do not feel beautiful, bright, capable, even successful women could not feel their own beauty. I never anticipated that I would be speaking to groups of women about their experience of their bodies as it relates to beauty, but the response has been amazing. So that's really exciting. I believe women want to look and feel attractive, and that's rather a wonderful thing because it's an aspect of self-care. But we start the day by looking in the mirror in the morning and the negative self-talk starts. I'm fat, I'm old, I look ugly. What is all this stuff around my middle? You know what I mean. And then we go to our closet and we feel disgruntled as we face confusion about what to wear for work. Whether we have a presentation, a client meeting, or we're running a workshop, what to wear is often the first question we have to solve for the work day ahead. So you've got the picture, but now I want you to contrast this, the way that women behave in the morning to what men do. Men go to their closets to get ready for work. They pull out a shirt, a pair of trousers, a belt, and off they go. 
right? If there's an important meeting, maybe they throw on a jacket and tie. Sorry about that. So they're done. For men, it's easy, but not so with women. And that's the problem. And that's the problem I've been trying to unravel. How can I help my clients feel better about the way they look? So let's assume all women want to look and feel attractive. But the only reference point we have for this is fashion, because we don't have a uniform like men. Our reference point is fashion. Now here's the thing, and it's an important thing to note. Fashion has us chasing the idea of beauty, but fashion really keeps us from actually achieving beauty because the standards for beauty in our culture for women, the standards are impossible and they're often distorted. So women are in quite a conundrum. So what do we do? We first recognize that so many of us are in a no-win game. And secondly, we change the rules of the game. I call it the beauty game. So that's what I've been working on. In addition to professional image and wardrobe coaching, I'm developing a course called Permission to be Beautiful. It's a four-week deep dive into rediscovering, owning, and expressing your beauty. And I'm writing a book with that same title. So I'm pretty busy, but I, I love this part of my work right now. It's just, I'm just on fire about it. So here's the thing, ladies. I'm not advocating for a uniform. Women love fashion. Remember, I've been a clothing designer. We love fashion, but we have to realize that fashion does not always love us. And the fact that so many women feel badly about the way they look is evidence of that. And it really troubles me, right? Capable, successful women are carrying this heavy baggage around their appearance and it's not their fault. These feelings are not our fault. On a daily basis, we all experience the in your face impossible standards of the culture with TV and magazines and movies and social media and influencers often giving us very sexualized images of what we're supposed to look like. So what's a working woman supposed to do? Again, this is not the case with men. Men put on their uniform and guess what? That uniform creates a level playing field for them the expectations for how men are supposed to look stays relatively the same while women are playing and often losing the beauty game, spending loads of time and money trying to keep up. Or many have just dropped out of the game altogether. Sometimes I think it's designed to keep women a little off balance. Has anyone considered that? But there is a way forward because now we're on to it. We're onto the game. It's hard to understand something when you're in the middle of it, but when we zoom out, we get a different picture. Things change. So here's the picture I want all women to see. If my core values about beauty were a compass, instead of north, south, east, and west, here's what you'd see. North, beauty is our birthright. South, beauty is essential to our well-being. East, beauty is not only something we see, beauty is something we experience. And West, beauty is as important to our lives as love. If this resonates with you, please put your name and email in the comments and I'll send you my professional style assessment, it's free. The assessment will give you a clear picture of where you're at on the self-image spectrum. You may be surprised. It will also give you a few tips for creating a new way of seeing yourself. And for those who wanna go deeper, and I'll be going uh, that into more, into more detail tomorrow on Teach Up Tuesday, 
But Colleen suggested that I bundle a few of my services for the Lead Up Women, and I thought that was a great idea. So here you go. Once you receive your professional style assessment, it's a questionnaire, you can schedule now a private call with me so we can get a good sense of where you're at. And then we'll dive in together to discover your three words. What are the three words? Well, that's my secret sauce. And I'll be talking about that more on Teach Up Tuesday tomorrow. But the three words in and of themselves are a game changer and very transformative because they give you a much clearer sense of who you are, your values, what's important to you and how you want to show up. So the coaching call to discover your three words is part one of the bundle. And in addition, you'll receive my new service, which is a video styling session. Since most of us are meeting our clients, prospects and colleagues on Zoom these days, and many of us don't have a clue on how we're coming across. A video styling session is where I work with you virtually on your Zoom background, camera angle, lighting, and give suggestions for wardrobe so that there's no visual noise for your audience. But it's really all about you. You and your personal style as it relates to what you do, your core values, and how you want to be perceived. I'm discounting the price of these two services for Lead Up Women to $137 for a limited time. So type your name and email in the comments and I'll connect with you. So there's a lot going on as my business transitions from being a designer to speaking coaching in a four-week course, but I am committed to helping women undo the negative patterning around the way they look so they can take this monkey off their back and focus on what they're good at. I hope you found this valuable, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. And that was beautiful. I'm so sorry that I had some technical difficulties there. And for some reason, my internet just in the middle of this decided it was just gonna go out. I don't know what happened there. So I'm, I miss part of that, which just totally bums me out, but I know the beautiful work that you do. I know that understanding what my three words really helps me feel comfortable in the clothes that I wear, how I show up, um, you know, how I show up on video, uh, the confidence in being present, you know, being present um, in speaking to large groups, which I do often. So, you know, ladies, it doesn't matter if we're not able to come out of our homes as much now as we used to, how we feel doesn't change. How we feel in our homes doesn't change. How we feel when we step out of our, step out of our homes and go to a, somewhere where you're meeting somebody in person, we have just as much influence um, in our lives virtually as we do in person. Absolutely. So what Anne is offering is an amazing opportunity. I'm sure that her, you know, as she puts her comments down there, you can DM her. So direct message her, private message her, put your name and email address in there. Like she said, if you don't feel comfortable putting your email address, direct message her. She can put her email address in the comment section. You can email her directly. Uh, we're very excited for this opportunity. And I know so many of you women out there that are showing up on the virtual screens um, and are consistently presenting and um, influencing and motivating and educating groups. Uh, this is something you certainly do not want to pass up uh, because you can't afford not to. I look at it that way. You know, you really can't afford not to do this because you're losing money if you're not showing up a specific way, uh, which is really authentically about you and understanding who you are is going to help you really show up that way. So thank you, Anne, for helping uh, women navigate through this morning ritual that we have when we go into our closets of what do I wear? Right. You know, I was talking to Anne the other day and I was saying, you know, why do we keep those jeans that we don't even fit into anymore that just sit there and haunt us in our closet? You know, what is the reason for that? And I, lo I love the experience and the wisdom that Anne brings of her, you know, 20 some years of doing this to you know, to bring that to the spotlight for us to understand why we do that and how we can 
you know, overcome those <laughs> fears, I want to say, that we have of not letting go of that, that pair of jeans, you know, so I appreciate yeah. you, Anne. I really do. Thank you, Colleen. <laughs> All right. And if you guys aren't already signed up, I'm going to drop the link into the comments section right now um, about the Teaching Tuesday webinar. So as you know, we do one on the second and the fourth Tuesday of every month. And Andrews, and these are only for our members to come forward to do these. And Anna is going to be teaching uh, much more in depth on this. And there's no excuse for you not to attend, especially if you want to decide right now, do I want to work with Anne to do this? Do I want to get her, you know, her free download? Come tomorrow as well and learn more about her so you can answer any question that you have because she'll have a Q&A time where you can ask questions and she can answer those for you. So really there's no excuse. So I'll drop the link in there for them to register for your webinar tomorrow as well. And then I'm going to encourage you to reach out to Anne because it was, it was something I did and I'm, I'm very truly happy I did. I remember sharing my three words with my husband, getting this beautiful printout. I'm framing, by the way, framing my printout, putting it on my desk as a reminder of who I am. Yes. Yes. How I feel, how I want to be perceived, you know, all, all of these very important factors for women. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you've done for me. And I know what you're going to be able to do for other women is just fabulous. So Thank you, Anne, for being with us today. Thank you so much. All right, ladies, we're out today. Have a wonderful Monday. Don't forget to sign up for the Teaching Tuesday webinar and get in contact with Anne Andrews. Have a wonderful week, ladies. Goodbye. Bye, everybody.